It's already the 8th day of September 2015 on this Tuesday worldwide broadcast. Feels like a Monday. We just had Labor Day, the International Workers Communist Day. Very groups and organizations that always end up impoverishing populations into a North Korean or Cuban style hell. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us for this worldwide transmission. The news is particularly over the top. Coming up later in the broadcast, Paul Watson is going to be uh, joining us to break down his story that's up on DrudgeReport.com. Muslim refugees chant Allah Akbar F you, attack citizens, throw feces. And they're so socialist and so liberal and so entitled, they believe Europe literally belongs to them and everything is free. A, a percentage of these uh, immigrants. And they wear t-shirts we have photos of saying, fear for your wife. Uh, and it is just a... a, a, a there's an entitlement, but also with these third world populations, let's just face it, massive class envy and an idea that wealthy Westerners are there and are the problem in the world because our own media pushes that idea while using our money and our military to go in and destabilize the countries these people are from. And these aren't the hardworking immigrants, many of them, that have come here in the past from the Middle East, Africa and places. Uh, a lot of these are criminals, people that have changed their names. That's in the news that have gotten fake passports. There's a huge business doing that. Uh, Pat Buchanan calls it the Islamic invasion of Europe. And that is exactly what is going on. And this is a planned takedown of the West. With political correctness, if you're Christian, libertarian, or conservative, you will be arrested for reading the Bible or for following your Christian beliefs. But if you want to sexually mutilate your daughters and put hoods on their heads and not let them leave the house and chain them up, baby, you're going to be protected. Because there's a hate of the West in the scientific technocratic elite because it has free will, it has renaissance in it, and that threatens the new dark age the globalists are bringing in. Now, they're going to set up the Muslims in the end with the clash of civilizations. I'm not a, quote, Islamophobe, but the West has brought in radical leadership out of Saudi Arabia and other nations to take over the Middle East, uh, Central Asia, and much of Africa. And they are forging Islam, you can debate whether it was before, into a weapon against the West. And Paul Watson put out an article, you can look this up for yourself, but it's on Real Alex Jones on Twitter, and I think this image should go viral. Qatar, zero migrants, zero immigrants, zero refugees. Saudi Arabia, zero, zero. Bahrain, zero. Kuwait, zero. United Arab Emirates, zero. Oman, zero, zero, zero. How many Palestinians they take? Zero, zero, zero. Only Germany, only France, only the United Kingdom, only the United States. It's our job to take the world's poor. It's our job for people to come here and have their babies for free. It's our job as a sacrament to give up any original Americana culture and to submit and to kneel and to do what we're told. This is the social engineering. It is here to destroy our families, destroy our culture. And the minute people realize that poison's been fed to us and that globalism and multiculturalism is nothing but pure tyranny. The minute we vomit this poison out is the sooner chance we've got of surviving. We've turned green. We've got blood coming out of our nose. Vomit it out. Stick your fingers down your throat. Get it out. Admit you were brainwashed. Break your conditioning now or all is lost. World government is officially here. It's now going to bring us into hell itself. They're now announcing major roads nationwide to be closed. The rest of the power plants to be shuttered. And the militarized police are getting their armored vehicles and preparing for war with gun owners. We are coming to you from the ATX zone, deep in the heart of captured Texas, FEMA Region 6. And you know, I, I come in here with that intro, and it's not hyperbole. It's not rhetoric. It's not hype. I am under a UN treaty. I am under UNESCO rule. I am under the Treaty of Rome. 
I am under Agenda 21, signed by the president in 1992, never ratified by Congress. They brag at the Club of Rome publicly. They brag at the Council on Foreign Relations publicly. They brag at the United Nations and Davos and the Trilateral Commission publicly. They write scores of books publicly, keyword publicly, admitting the entire planetary world government plan. Back in the 70s, Senator Barry Goldwater wrote with no apologies. I read that book when I was 16 years old. Every stinking word of it is true. Every stinking word of it came true. I don't need to know what's coming or going to happen. Our own government, people that were patriots, held it back for decades, warned us, won some battles, lost others. The globalists are between 10 and 15 years behind in their own words. And so now they are pedal to the metal. This is the final assault. They have decided to go, yeah, your kids can't do chores. It's child labor. We'll arrest you. $4,000 a day fines for any dust in a barn of hay. You can have no uh, classical light bulbs. You cannot say the word father or mother or boy or girl or he or she. We will arrest you if you're a county clerk and don't certify a gay marriage. We're going to shut down half the roads in Austin, half the roads in Los Angeles, half the roads in New York, half the roads in Minneapolis, St. Paul. You're like, no, they won't. It's being announced. They're in the L.A. Times today saying we're going to shut everything down and teach you to live sustainably. But what they don't tell you is it's for control, not to help the earth. They're doing the genetic engineering, the hadron manipulations, and all these things we know, the leaking reactors. They don't care about the earth and the real red-level crises. They're using this as a neo-feudalistic putsch, a total takeover. First, they prime us with political correctness. They go in and destabilize North Africa and the Middle East. There's a billion people in the Middle East and North Africa and Central Asia. A billion plus. And they now are setting it up with the news media and Western-run Al Jazeera going, how dare the West not accept millions? How dare they not give you everything free with TVs blaring as tens of thousands a day pour into every European country and they are carjacking the trucks. They are beating people up. We're going to put this on the Nightly News tonight. I've shown you on the radio slash TV here, but we're going to produce a whole piece. Just type into YouTube, migrants or illegals, carjack, truck jack, uh, trucks waiting for ferries, buses waiting for ferries. You can see in Macedonia uh, or in Czechoslovakia or in other countries, just human waves of thousands hitting the fences and climbing over. And then showing up and then major government saying, you will pay for these people, you'll pay for their kids. And in Sweden, they're trying to pass a law to make you house them in your house. But let's put the graphic up. That's at Real Alex Jones on Twitter. I want to create a graphic of this and send it out on Facebook and everywhere else. How many of the, quote, refugees is Saudi Arabia running the Al-Qaeda and ISIS attacks to destabilize these countries and make them collapse so there are giant migrant waves into which ISIS and Al-Qaeda admit they're infiltrating and hiding? How many did the country that quarterbacked the whole operation with NATO to destabilize the Middle East, how many migrants, migrants, they call them illegals there, and imprison them or throw them out? How many precious migrants, how many precious illegal aliens did Saudi Arabia take? Zip, nada, zero, 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 zero. And by the way, if you're a new listener, the New York Times had the headline yesterday. No, it was on Sunday I covered it. Saudi Arabia is criticized for not taking refugees. If you're a new viewer, you're like, there's no way they didn't take anybody. Oh, yes. They knocked the beehive over, and then they opened our window up and said, fly in here. But they're not taking a single illegal alien. 
Now, let's go to back to the graphic. How many people from the next country? How many people did the next country take? It's up on Twitter at Real Alex Jones. Saudi Arabia, zero, zero, zero. Bahrain, zero, zero, zero. Qatar, zero, zero, zero. Kuwait, zero, zero, zero. UAE, zero, zero, zero. Oman, zero, zero, zero. All of them, zero, zero, zero. We have a link to a video report showing all the articles breaking it down. But then you've got arrogant, hateful, mainly 20-year-old men, 18 to 25 is the average age, with their fake passports from all over the world, screaming with hatred. They've been watching Western porn. They've been watching MTV. They've uh, uh, mutated with the bizarre gangster uh, cop killer culture. Go to Europe. That's all you see. They're the majority now in most major cities, and they openly brag, your wives, your daughters, everything belongs to us. We are conquerors. Get out of our way. And Europeans are not in need with political correctness and literally fall down and urinate on themselves in front of anyone that says, you do it or you're racist. Germans, Dutch, all of them, French, UK, they are so politically correct. They hit their knees and say, here's everything. This is a full-on assault. And you see the same thing here with Latin America. Opened up, flooded in. Oh, first it's refugee children. Now it's their families. Then it's their families. Everything paid for being housed at Democratic Party homes. $7,000 per three immigrants they take per month. They warehouse them in a room, give them driver's license, start them voting. Get them on welfare, skim part of the welfare. This is on record. Because it's a mafia organization, the Democratic Party. It's like Akron on steroids, times 10, and all their scams. Hey, I got some underage sex slaves I want to run. So you going to help? Of course, that's what we do. Bring. <laughs> oh, really? Well, here, Project Veritas. Let's go to the next facility. Yeah, we got sex slaves. Great. That's what we're into. Let me tell you how to just keep them in the school, pay the taxes. You won't have any problem. All right. This is the new system. This is how it works. And so they bring the people in, they house them, they get them voting, they get them a job at the meatpacking plant or cleaning your house. They're hardworking people on average trying to flee tyranny. But then they put them on welfare under multiple IDs. They get tax refunds. One house in Austin, I forget, got something like $89 million in tax returns four years ago. But Atlanta beat Austin. It was a hundred and something million at one house. And guess what? There was no investigation, no charges. Do you think illegal aliens were really getting hundreds of millions of dollars at houses? No. They run it through them as cutouts for the takedown. But then you're going 10 miles over the speed limit. Johnny Law pulls you over. Did you know you were speeding? What, you got any drugs in this car? What, you mean drugs the government shipped in? I'm the highway patrol, the highway patrol. My hours are long and my pay is low. But I'll do my best to keep you driving slow. I'm just a doing my job. I'm a highway patrol. Really? You're really doing your job? No. You're an errand boy out there to raise money off people. And I'm not attacking you individually. When the globalists are done with you, they're going to throw you in the fire as well. This is a full, dishonorable, scientific mafia warfare takedown. And it's here. Everything you've heard us talk about is now going to unfold in triplicate spades. Ace of spades, ace of spades, ace of spades. Tyranny, tyranny, tyranny. Forced inoculations, forced GMO. The school's telling your kids that you don't belong to them and giving them whatever they want and taking them away from you. You want it, baby? You're about to get it. This is the military, psychological, military, industrial complex takedown of the West. Which was the only lifeline to industrialize and build up the third world. They're going to, don't worry, for those of you that are racist, because I'm not, I don't dislike these migrants, but they are weaponized. They are illegal. They are filled with cultural revolution. They are filled with liberation theology. They are filled with entitlement and hatred. Let's go out to break. Muslim refugees in Budapest.